in this video we will talk about the cataract the cataract is referred as, to as the clouding of the naturally clear lens of the eye which gradually degrades the vision because it limits the quantity of light entering the eye and thus distorts the vision of the patient the more the clouding of the lens the worse the vision gets and and it usually occurs in both of the eyes but in some cases it may be more in one eye than the other eye the risk factors for the development of cataract include the aging with aging what happens that there is the accumulation of the yellow brown pigment due to the breakdown of the lens proteins and this uh, causes the clouding of the lens and uh, uh, decrease the amount of light entering the eye also there is uh, decreased oxygen uptake with aging decreased vitamin c and associated ocular conditions which may increase the risk of getting the cataract include the infections like the herpes zoster myopia retinal detachment nutritional factors are responsible for causing the cataract include the obesity poor nutrition and reduced levels of antioxidants the physical risk factors for the development of cataract include the perforation of the lens with a sharp object and uh, uv radiations or x-rays falling on the eye the systemic disease which increase the risk of getting cataract include the diabetes Downer syndrome and renal diseases. There are various types of cataract, but the main three types include the traumatic. In this is caused by the blunt or penetrating trauma, infrared energy, electric shock, or ionizing radiations, the congenital, which is present from the birth, and the senile type, which is age related and it uh, is caused by the progressive thickening of the lens. The pathophysiology. You must be knowing that the eye lens is made up of the water and the proteins. The proteins are known as the crystallines. With aging and uh, other associated factors, what happens that there is decreased lens flexibility, decreased transparency and increased thickening of the lens. And this causes the breakdown and clumping of the tissues within the lens, causing the cataract. The clinical manifestations. The first and foremost and the important uh, clinical manifestation in cataract is the painless blurred vision. It is the characteristic symptom of the cataract. And uh, what happens? The patient doesn't usually experience pain but has the blurred vision. There is sensitivity to glare, diminished night vision, dull or the faded vision, halos around the light, and the double vision in the single eye. Now, how can you prevent the development of a cataract? First, you must have a regular checkup of your eyes with an ophthalmologist. And if you are smoking, you must quit smoking and manage other health problems which increase the risk of cataract like the diabetes mellitus. Wear glasses when outdoors because the sunlight directly falling on the eye can damage the lens proteins. And also uh, stop alcohol consumption. Now, how can we diagnose cataract? We have to take a history from the patient and note the signs and symptoms of the patient. We can use a Snellen visual equity test in which the visual equity of the patient is examined using a standard Snellen chart. Ophthalmoscopy. In this procedure, an ophthalmoscope is used to look into the structures of the eye. Slit lamp examination. This uses a special microscope with bright light that lets the ophthalmologist check the different parts of your eye like the cornea, iris and the lens. Medical management. There is no definitive treatment of cataract in the medical uh, management. The only uh, definitive treatment is the surgical intervention. But the conservative treatment can be provided including the wearing of glasses to get the better vision using bright light and eliminating other causes which may contribute or which increase the chances of get, getting the cataract like the controlling of uh, diabetes mellitus eliminating the cataractogenic drugs the drugs which uh, cause the cataract the surgical management includes the procedure called the phacoemulsification in this what happens that a portion of the anterior capsule of the lens is removed and uh, then using an ultrasonic device the lens is liquefied and then suctioned out 
Then a viscoelastic or gel-like material is inserted into the space between the lens and the cornea so that the anterior compartment of the eye doesn't uh, collapse. After phacoemulsification, when the patient is not having any lens, uh, either artificial or natural, the patient is termed to be aphacic. After phacoemulsification, there are three options for the uh, replacement of the lens. First is using the aphacic lens, which causes 25% magnification and makes the vision better. The second option is using the contact lens. It uh, makes the vision almost normal, but uh, it is not preferred in case of patients who have difficulty in inserting, removing and cleaning the contact lenses. The third option is using an intraocular lens. In this, an artificial lens is inserted into the eye in place of the natural lens. The nursing management includes taking the vital signs to establish a database of the patient's condition, investigating about the recent medication intake, for example, the anticoagulants, the antiplatelets, because uh, if a person has a history of taking these medications, yeah, these can increase the risk of uh, hemorrhage during the surgery and can prolong the period of uh, healing. Preoperative tests, if indicated, include the CBC, the ECG, and before the discharge, we have to educate the patient about the eye protection, medication administration, like the installation of the drops, apply application of the uh, eye ointment, and also educate the patient about the activities which he needs to avoid. Thank you, that was all about the cataract.